What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We are rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates from all of the summer transfer windows. So if you want to stay up to date first and fast on YouTube every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news, make sure you have subscribed to my channel. We have now smashed past 30,000 subscribers, which is an outstanding number and an outstanding uh, effort by everybody involved. So thank you so much for all the continued support. It is much appreciated. We seem to be going up in increments of 10K, so I see no reason why 40K can't be the next aim. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and slide across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, or a TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. Hit it on the last video. Can we hit it on this one? That would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget as well uh, to let me know your thoughts of what you make of these transfers in the comments below. So, let's crack on with this video we're going to start off first with the outs we've got the very latest on Liam Delap and he has officially signed for Hull City on a season long loan as confirmed by both Manchester and Hull City so wishing Liam the very best of luck in the championship once more spent last season in the first half of the season out at Stoke City uh, in the second half of the season out at Preston North End he'll be looking to try and build on his experiences try and get more assists try and get more goals try and get more game time as well so wishing him the very best of luck there uh, to his move to Humberside. Now, moving on, we've got the very latest on Luis Fiorini, another player that could be heading out on loan from Manchester City. Now, Pito Rourke says that Reading, Swansea City and Bristol City, they are all interested in signing Luis Fiorini from Manchester City on loan. Manchester City haven't decided yet if they do want to loan him or whether they want to sanction a sale. And with plenty of interest coming in from the EFL and from European teams as well, it is very much a case of we will see and by some point towards uh, the start of the EFL season, right at the beginning of August, Man City, I'm sure, will decide what is best for the uh, for this coming season for Luis Fiorini. Now, moving on, we've got the very latest on James Trafford and the Sun are saying Leicester City, they are chasing after James Trafford from Manchester City. They do not mention if it is a loan deal or a permanent deal. I know that Manchester City are open to both a loan or a permanent sale of James Trafford. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, I think it would be a good move for him to go to Leicester City. The question has to be, would he be able to get into their team ahead of Daniel Everson? We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, backing himself uh, if he does choose to go to Leicester City. Now, moving on, we've got the latest on Calvin Phillips. And the Telegraph say that Newcastle United, they're keeping an eye out for Calvin Phillips in case Manchester City, later on in this window, decide that he can leave. West Ham are also being linked. But the latest that we have on Calvin Phillips is he wants to stay and he wants to fight for his place at Manchester City. He feels like he's still got much more to prove at the club so he wants to stay so I, I have my doubts about him leaving Manchester City this summer now moving on we've got the latest on Kyle Walker uh, Manchester City they are still pushing for a new deal for Kyle Walker this is according to Fabrizio Romano Bayern Munich they're still pushing to sign him no real developments there but what Fabrizio Romano does say which is very interesting is all signs are pointing towards in this coming week it's going to be crucial and Kyle Walker is going to decide on what he is going to do with his future next. Is he going to commit to a new deal that's been offered by Manchester City? Or is he going to say, I want to leave Manchester City to explore a new challenge and potentially sign for Bayern Munich? So a big week apparently coming up there, according to Fab Rom, uh, when it comes to the future of Kyle Walker. Now, moving on to the final transfer of the outs, we've got the latest on Bernardo Silva in the Daily Star say that Bernardo Silva, he's got offers from Saudi Arabia, which are worth more than eight hundred thousand pounds a week apparently it's at the top end of eight hundred thousand as well because the rumors were saying it was nine uh, over nine hundred thousand euros per week to try and prize bernardo silva away from manchester city away from europe and to saudi arabia to sign uh, for one of the saudi arabian teams that's a base salary as well that's not including add-ons bonuses and everything the money there is absolutely mad and uh, we'll have to wait and see if there is an offer that does come in for Bernardo Silva from Saudi Arabia. City's price tag for Bernardo around £70 million. I've said it before, 
I'd be asking for more because Saudi Arabia does have that money and it's a massive commitment to take a player, a top player like Bernardo Silva, away from the top European leagues and the top European clubs to send him to Saudi Arabia. It'd be a massive coup for Saudi Arabia, but if they want to make it happen and it comes from a player from Manchester City to me, they've got to pay top top dollar for him anyway moving on to the in spike brits he has officially been announced as a signing for manchester city from afc wimbledon he's a 16 year old english goalkeeper he's got a very promising career ahead of him and he has been announced as a signing for the cfa the city football academy so he will be going into the academy wishing spike the very best of luck uh, whilst he is at manchester city and who knows maybe soon we'll be seeing him in and around the manchester city first team squad very promising welcome spike now moving on to the final transfer we've got a massive update when it comes to josco gavardial now forbes have confirmed what i was saying this weekend that liverpool signing uh, dominique uh, sabosley uh, isn't going to impact the potential sale of josco gavardial leipzig they're confident that two big player sales can be sanctioned in one window uh, as they have done in previous seasons they will profit and they will replace these players players uh, so that sale does not impact Josco Gavardio going to Manchester City but it does put further balls into the Leipzig court because they don't need to raise cash they don't need to raise the money so it is very much a case that Man City if they want to sign Josco Gavardio more than likely we're going to have to pay his asking price that Leipzig are asking us for which is 100 million euros we're looking at a deal worth 86 million pounds now Fabrizio Romano says the asking price is still that of 100 million euros plus add-ons and said that uh, Manchester City this is according to the sporting director at Leipzig. If they want, Josco Gavardial pay his asking price. If they do, Josco Gavardial will be a Manchester City player. Why? Because he has confirmed the sporting director at Leipzig. Word from Leipzig is confirmed. Gavardial's told Leipzig he wants to leave and he wants to join Manchester City. From this, Matteo Moretto over in Italy, and it's been matched by Paul Joyce over here in the UK. They've both said um, that uh, Josco Gavardial he wants a deal sorting ASAP to join Manchester City and negotiations are believed to be between City and Leipzig now at an advanced stage. Now, Manuel Veff at Transfer Market says that a €100 million Euro deal, £86 million pounds deal, it's now very close to being agreed between Leipzig and Manchester City. Leipzig are believed to have moved their attention on from player sales. They believe they're getting over €230 million Euros in player sales this summer. They've now focused in on bringing players in spent just over 60 million euros so far they're going to want to spend big they're going to want to replace these big players and that's where their focus is they're resigned to losing Gavardial a deal is close to being agreed between Manchester City and RB Leipzig for Josco Gavardial now Mike Manet this morning has confirmed that no bid has gone in from Manchester City yet to RB Leipzig for Josco Gavardial Manchester City will be uh, seeking a verbal agreement once we get that verbal agreement an official bid will go in and that bid will be accepted that is exactly how Manchester City do their transfers cash your mind back to Declan Rice when Man City put in a 90 million pound bid plus add-ons it wasn't accepted West Ham were insulted they almost immediately rejected Manchester City's offer and Man City don't do their business Man City get verbal agreements we don't get bids rejected we get a verbal agreement once we get a verbal agreement an official offer will go in so I talked maybe at an advanced stage and Manchester City may well be closing in on an agreement but as of right now of me recording this video an agreement still hasn't been found but it is close to being found and an agreement being made to make Josco Gavardial the highest uh, fee for a centre-back ever in the world and also to make him a Manchester City player from RB Leipzig so there we go that has been today's transfer update don't forget to subscribe to my channel we're going daily with Manchester City transfer update so you can stay up to date every single day with all the ins outs and contract news with Manchester City 
Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. And most importantly, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers. And I'll see you all again tomorrow religiously for the next daily Magic City transfer update thank you guys so much for 30,000 subscribers here's to the next 30,000 peace ciao for now